pirates are going to be very authentic and have the fear and the loathing that you want them to have, and yet you're going to have a lot of humor with that. So that's why we have gore. When you make a movie like this, you quite often get up in the morning and go to set, and you feel like you're nine years old. Back, you know, in the movies you, that sort of influenced you when you were a child. God, let's try that again. Not only are the sets vast and huge and everything, but when you fly out to the Caribbean and you see a whole bay built up to be Port Royal with, you know, four or five huge tall ships in the harbor and hundreds of extras running around in, in, in uniform and, you know, the undertaking was so big. When I first heard of the film, I was given a call and I thought, Pirates of the Caribbean, are we going real? Are we going like Disneyland? So we uh, got the script and then we realized that it, it was going to be as a real a film as possible. When I walked onto stage two and saw the cave for the first time, the initial thing was like, oh, <laughs> that's very big. But what immediately took over was how beautiful it was and how, how, how well designed. As soon as you, you start doing research, you find out all of this wonderful stuff about what really happened. You immediately say, Caribbean pirates. And then you start pulling up everything, and you see, you know, photos, and then you go from there, and then you say, well, if he looks like this, then he has to come from this. And his boat would look like this. Now, this thing will jump back at least three feet. My function is to integrate historical reality with movie reality. My area of expertise is primarily uh, 1500 to 1900 general uh, historical information regarding uh, dress and custom and then a specific uh, expertise in, in military uh, history as well. It goes on the thumb of the, uh, of the gun captain, so that's the prop. I spoke to props early on about all the uh, appropriate types of swords and weapons. We have two types of swords principally, the short swords that you'd refer to as cutlasses uh, and what are called small swords, the long straight bladed civilian and uh, officers type swords. We have pistols, we have uh, blunderbusses which are like short uh, firearms, uh, carbines and long muskets. Pirate's best friend. All the period pieces we, we pretty much built from scratch. Built over 72 cannons, four different sizes. All the carriages for the cannons, all the metal work for them. Last time you left me a pistol with one shot. With Paris, you're right. Where is Jack's pistol? Jack's pistol was very important. Gore wanted a real pistol from the 1700s. So we started doing some shopping. He wanted the silver and lay to be the real stuff from the mid-18th century. The guns that we bought from a dealer in Connecticut, uh, they were made in London by a fellow named Perry in 1760. Okay, let's go, shooters, you ready? And then uh, we uh, did a rental with the other pistols through a company in Los Angeles, their reproductions. It's near an end! Yeah! The biggest set and one of the bigger challenges would be the treasure cave. And just trying to get the sort of quantity that Gore was looking for. This is a huge treasure. You know, these guys have been dumping this stuff here for years. We have the main treasure chest that we built specifically, and then we have the 882 pieces of Aztec gold, which are a different gold. And there was like, I would say, in the neighborhood of a couple of hundred thousand gold coins that we put in there. We probably had, I can't even think of how many cubic feet of rock that we actually painted to look like gold nuggets, as well as probably hundreds of yards of pearls and a mass of just sort of odd objects, things that would just be looted by the pirates. It just kept building and kept building and and you know, at that point you're going, oh, is it, is it too far, is it far enough? You know, because Gore is very specific on his look. His words were, the pirates aren't art collectors, they were just after the money. So I just went and just scoured all the prop houses and made huge deals with them to say, we want this, you know, this much stuff. That's great. Yeah, nice. Excellent.